John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. All right, let the town know who this is all about. One, two, three, Jesus! Jesus! Who is God? My big papa right there. I gotta say, life has been good knowing him. He's blessed me and blessed me and my family. God is love, honestly. God is everything. No joke. Most of the people that I know, the love of God. Most blessed people that I've ever met in my life. Honest. Trustworthy, all the things. In his book, his good book, he teaches the basic principles of life. Whatever you sow, you reap. Hang around with bad company, good company gets corrupted by bad character. All the stuff that he teaches in the Bible. That's who God is. God is love. Good day and start again Cause the Lord came and blessed us with salvation. salvation So leave your worries and leave your troubles Okay, the first song that God inspired me to write is called Sunshine um, This song talks about how uh, We leave our worries and our troubles behind And for me, I had a lot of those um, And until Jesus came into my life, I was able to let go of those things um, When Jesus came into my life I was at this church camp and I just remember going to the altar and, and, and just giving him my, my life and he changed my life and he changed my life at that moment. He gave me a new day, he shined um, the light in my life. Um, and he just gave me a new beginning. And so, in my song, I, um, in my song, I talk about Jesus is a solution to all of our situations, and He is. Jesus is the answer, and He spoke truth. He spoke life into my into my heart, and, and for like all of us, like we get things that in our past that holds us back. But you know, if we let go, if we let go of those things, and you might say it's hard to let go of those things, but. But Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the solution for all of our situations. And that's what, he, that's what he brings. He came into this world to give us life. And for me, he shined. He shined his light. That's why the song is called Sunshine. Because I was in the darkness. I was lost. Until he found me and he gave me that light. What is wrong and what is right? So, who is Jesus to me? Jesus Christ is, um, he is our shepherd. He is the son of God. He is the one who came down to earth through his father to save our sins, to wipe away and clean us and purify us through his death and through him sacrificing his life for us to be saved. That's Jesus. When I wrote this song, I like God spoke the truth in, in my life, and I like I knew that I was a sinner, but but God was, God loved me no matter what. And like when He revealed Himself to me, I knew that what I was what I was what I was in the past, like I was straying, I was. I was on lost sheep, and that's who I was. I was disobedient, and Satan was the one deceiving me, telling me that I could, I can go smoke, telling me that I can go drink, telling me that you can go fight that boy. Um, he, Jesus is not like the the hired man. Jesus talks about the hired man. When the wolf comes, he just digs. Jesus don't dig. When when we get troubles in our lives, whatever we're going through. He stands for us. He protects us. He uh, he doesn't abandon us. And and God moved me to write this. And in Luke 15, um, 
Jesus talks about the lost sheep and how when I wrote I wrote in the song about about that parable how the shepherd if he had nine hundred sheep and one strays doesn't he not leave the ninety nine and look for that one and when he finds that one he picks them up and he takes it he takes that sheep home and then he all his friends he tells his friends and and all of them rejoice thinking like we are valuable we are valuable to God um, and he goes and looks for looks for us and and um, so in my song I talk about that and so Jesus is a good shepherd for in our lives he's the way the truth and the life and we are his sheep and we are valuable to him who tries to pull me down with a sheep Christ the shepherd Satan is the big man Jesus is a good shepherd good good shepherd good shepherd good good shepherd for we well, uh, if God is the Father, He had a Son. His Son was Jesus. And God showed His love to us by sending His only Son to die on the cross for our sins. And I, I know a lot of people have heard that before, but the fact of the matter is that God sent His Son, Jesus, to pay one of the worst penalties ever known to man. Not just death, but the humiliation of death on the cross. Like he wasn't wearing any clothes. He only had his, you know, like his bevities in front of everybody. He was whipped, he was, he was tortured. But not only did Jesus suffer, God sent Jesus, scripture says, to die when we were at our worst, when I was at my worst. God sent His Son, Christ, to die on the cross for our sins, for my sins, when I was at my worst. See, because people will, will, will take a bullet for somebody they love, people will sacrifice uh, for somebody who is worthy of sacrifice. Somebody will give up um, life and time and finances for maybe people who's deserving of it. But see, Jesus gave his all for the undeserving. God showed us his love in the form of his son who took the sin and took the place of the the filth listen listen to the voice that calls your name okay so this song listen um the third song that i wrote that god inspired me to write um, it's just it's, it's a song where um, where God called me and I responded and I listened. Um, for me, before I met God, I was still disobedient. The world was noisy. I didn't hear His voice before. I didn't recognize what was right from wrong. But I, but I. But later in my life, I felt I felt like some of the things that I did wasn't right. Like I knew, like I knew that someone was calling me, but I never know who was calling me until I went to this church camp, the church, the church camp at Camp Olivia. Um, until God put um, leaders in my life. Until I went to church. And, um, until I gave my life to him, I finally knew that that voice, I finally knew um, that God was the one that spoke. That was speaking to me. Um, so this song just talks about um, how you gotta listen. You know, but it, it may be hard for some people because they go through a lot of things. Um, but, but when we but when we stop and listen, when we stop and and think and just slow down and 
You know, God's voice, God's voice is gonna, he, he's gonna make his voice known to you. Okay. So this song, this song just talks about you know, my response to God. And his call for his people, his call that, that he's never, he's never gonna stop calling you. He's never gonna stop knocking on your hearts. Um, until, until, you know, you open up, until, until you hear his voice. And, and for me, every, when I did receive him in my life and I heard his voice, my life is changed. Like, his voice is more clearer to me. ears that I hear is, is not these, it's, it's in my heart, like God was speaking to my heart, was knocking on my heart, so listen. You can have a good day and start again cause the Lord came and bless us with salvation. How did I come to know Jesus? Well, I, I came to know Jesus at a young age. My grandfather was, uh, was a deacon. My father was raised in a Catholic family. My mom was raised in a Protestant family. And from a young age, they, they started praying. We started going to church. And uh, so I probably came to know Jesus from, you know, probably from seventh grade is when I really knew Jesus. And I started praying and communicating with him, not just going to church, but uh, Jesus was, was actually like in my life uh, from, from seventh grade. When Jesus came into my life, or when I figured out who Jesus was, was um, 2010 when I went to one of my church camps. Like before that, I always knew of God. I grew up in a Catholic family, so we always did Bible studies and stuff, but I never really comprehended or really paid attention to it because I only went to church and went to buy Bible studies to impress my dad and to make him pleased and to make him happy. But before that, like, I wasn't going down the greatest road ever. I didn't really care. I didn't really know too much about heaven and hell. So, um, when I went to the church camp, I basically realized who Jesus was. Like, I felt his presence there at the camp and with the leaders being there, just um, kind of speaking life to us and speaking truth to us and helping us realize, helping us realize that all this stuff is all worldly, that's the thing that we shouldn't be falling for. But there is a point where they said, all the kids, whoever, whoever feels like they need to let something go tonight, let it go at the altar and break, off, break away from the shackles and come here and give it all to God. And nobody was going up. No, I seen, I was kind of shamed. Like, I, I, I felt everyone's shame is there. And I just felt God telling me, like, just go up, just go up, just go up and give it to me, give it to me. And I was like, what? This is embarrassing. Everyone's staring at me. I don't want to give it to you. Like I don't want to in front of everyone. I'll wait. I'll wait until thirty other kids go first, and then maybe I'll go. But nobody was still going up, and I just heard this song. It's called Hungry, and that's what I was. I was just hungry for God and hungry for Jesus and hungry for the way that the leaders were acting and how God moved them. I wanted to feel that too. I wanted to feel God's presence in me. And I felt it there, just tugging on my heart, just telling me, "Come on, you can do it. You can go." Give it to me, I'll, I'll, I'll bless you. I'll, you'll have me in you. Just come, just come to me, come to me, come to me. Just continuously knocking on my heart, and I was like, continuously shafting him. And then finally, just fell on my knees and gave, gave my all to God and let go of all the things that were holding me back from fully falling in love with God and being ashamed. Like basically, after that night, my shameness was gone. Like I wasn't, I wasn't ashamed of like loving God or repping God's name or saying Jesus or praying for people or praying period in front of people knowing that they're looking at me and watching me pray but that's the night when I just fell down and I was just weeping and crying and just asking for forgiveness for waiting so long to fall in love with God waiting my whole life and I had to wait till I was 16 years old to actually figure out God's love 16 years that that hurt me the most, just waiting as long as I did and realizing that, yeah, realizing the things that I wasted time on when I could have been, you know, exalting God instead of exalting myself my whole life. Jesus came into my life when I was about middle school. 
I didn't know him, but I knew of him. It's two different things. Like, you can say, oh, you know the clerk at that ice cream shop? I know of him, but I don't call him best friend or anything like that. But when he came into my life, it was not directly towards me, but it was towards my dad. It's because my dad was an ex-drug dealer. He did drugs. He committed crimes such as adultery, sleeping with other women. He was not the best role model per se, but God took him, broke him down to nothing, to no money in his account, and that hell. Whatever money could buy. Trips to Las Vegas, trips to Hawaii, quads, cars, money chains, TV. But yeah, God broke him down. And then my dad was homeless for about a month. And then he went to this place called NBK, my brother's keeper. And they asked him when he got to the footsteps of that the door, and he said, Do you want to change? You know, my dad could weep and he didn't understand why. But as months grew and stuff like that, we did find a word in the Bible that said, um, which called when you, once you get saved or born again, your family starts to get saved, your whole household. And I started, since I love my dad so much, I started going to MBK just to see him and know that God's, God's grace is efficient. He take, he take anybody. And my dad's living proof for that. And I think, wow, the world not gonna do that to me. The police is gonna be like, ah, this drug dealer. If I was ever to become one or anything, I'm not saying I would. Like, I don't wanna be one of those. But if I ever did, I know I can't go to just the law system and they look upon me like, oh yeah, we forgive you. Oh my God, is like that. And that's when I knew who I living for for the rest of the day of my life. That's how God came into my life. How is my life now that I met Jesus and that I know God and I know of His grace? It's my life is so awesome. Like. Even when I'm having a bad day and even though even when I'm struggling with my flesh and the things that I my life desires like oh man. I just turn to God and I just know that everything is just perfect. Like when I wasn't with him I couldn't even feel that way. During my bad days, like I just I just hate life or I just turn to other things like I would turn to alcohol or I would turn to drugs or I would turn to just things that weren't right now it's like I don't have to turn to those things but I can turn to God and like he'll always be there he'll always answer my call he'll always answer my prayer and I know that he's always there like feeling him daily like because there are things that I struggle with like going back to my desires in the past that I want to just start over and I'm like oh, why did I ever get involved in church but or involved in Jesus but that's all Satan just trying to destroy my flesh and trying to destroy me because he sees how much how much God has changed me and God's changed people around me through his music, through worship and worship without singing, worship without speaking, just through actions and just through smiling and just through kindness because that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to just live of him and live for him because this isn't our life. This is his life that we're living out. And if we're not living it for him, then we're not going to be with him in the end. So now my walk is getting stronger day by day. My faith is increasing constantly. And every day I just feel his grace. And I just feel like I'm getting stronger with him. Reading the word. Reading his His word through, the, through scriptures. I'm praying. And just He's literally speaking to me sometimes. I just open up like, oh God, speak to me today. And I open the word and it's just right there. All the things that he wants to tell me is like, it's just so clear. And it's just so legit and real. And like, um, seeing him work through other people for me through our pastors through our leaders and seeing the joy that they have and seeing how that's exactly how I want my life to be when I get older like not worrying about getting into a relationship or not worrying about going to the next party or wearing the nicest clothes that somebody's wearing but just worrying about God and where my relationship takes off with him um, how is your life now I don't know pretty mean.
with Jesus, I can say one thing. It's like this tree standing on the rock. But keep on growing. By the Lord, nurtured, all cherry. Even though it's not one cherry tree. But the Lord, He blessed me anyway. And always, constantly, He will test me. He test me daily. But I receive it. Because like any child with their parent, they give them schoolings to grow. And you know what? Ever since I found Jesus, life is peaceful, blessed. I can't even know words can explain the joy I feel now. But you know what? People that are watching this, I encourage you to come feel the same joy as I have come to know. So how is my life now with Jesus? And it's the best. Because Jesus is the life giver. You know, John 10.10 10 says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, right? But Jesus has come to bring us life and life to the fullest. I really feel like I'm, I'm living the best life ever. Um, I'm not that rich. I don't own my own house. But I love life. I love... Uh, the fact that I get to give life too. I've been a, a youth pastor since uh, since 2002, and uh, and I get to work with youth every week. Uh, I'm a teacher. I'm a coach, and everything that I do, I get to speak life. Jesus spoke life into me, uh, and I understand life now. I understand uh, that there's an end to this life, uh, and it's heaven or hell. Uh, but not only do I get to wait expectantly for heaven, but I get to live heaven like right now. Uh, in heaven, I'm gonna get to be with Jesus. Right now, I get to be with Jesus every day. Not just on Sunday mornings, not just when I play music. Like every day, I get to walk with Him. Every day, I get to talk with Him. Uh, every day, I get to share Jesus with other people. Um, and I don't even have to preach. My life is. Uh, is the testimony my life is the message like I can see Jesus in me and uh, and I know other people can see Jesus in me as well uh, and just thinking about that the fact that God has imprinted a piece of him in me and other people can see that uh, that ministers to my soul you know because of that I can live at peace uh, you know I have worries you know I gotta pay for bills I have struggles but with Jesus, I, I have everything that I need. Uh, with Jesus in me, you know, I have life and I'm able to share that with others. Uh, what more What more could I ask for? It be the ending of my video, but it's not the ending of my walk with Christ. It's just the beginning. Allah. Jesus, three, one, two, three, three. Jesus!